Hi, Style Rebel. We are going to talk about some, some, well, one actually of my favorite, favorite fashion pieces that always make you look stylish and they are so simple and versatile to use kimonos all right so i would love to know from you do you own any kimonos yes or no and if so i'd love some suggestions on your favorite ways to wear them okay because the more the merrier and if we can help each other out that's even better so this is such a perfect time of the year to really invest in super fabulous kimonos. And not only can you wear them during spring and summer, but also throughout all the seasons. Now, unless it's snowing or super, super freezing cold, obviously you're gonna have to layer and put other things on. But for us, especially down here in South Florida, we can pretty much get away with it all year long. If you are in Northern states, then maybe not so much, but I will give you some ideas, okay? So don't, like lock them away over the winter because you actually could use them still. All right, so if you are brand new to the page, welcome to the Style Rebel Mama page. I am a personal stylist and image consultant to women on the go, busy women in general, mompreneurs, female entrepreneurs, in need of some extra guidance to elevate your personal style so that you can feel fabulous and confident in your own style because everybody has their own style even if you think you have no style you have style it's just a matter of rediscovering it and learning some simple style tools and tips to help you get to a, a place where you can really feel amazing in anything that you put on and for every occasion without decision fatigue. That is a big thing. Okay. So the last thing that you want to do is be standing in front of your closet for over, I would say four or five minutes trying to figure out an outfit or change your outfit more than once. And so I help guide you through ways to get rid of that decision fatigue so that you do get dressed in a way that makes you feel amazing and confident but it's also simple to do so if you are brand new to the page and there's something that you absolutely love i would love for you to give me a hashtag sparkle um that lets me know that something that i said you really loved and maybe something new that you learned and if there's any of your girlfriends that you feel would truly be inspired by anything that I'm going to share today, feel free to drop their name. That way they get a notification that, Hey, they should listen in also. So let's get started. So, um, I'm so excited to share this today with you, especially because not only do I love kimonos, but if you haven't noticed yet inside of the style rebel mama online shop, there are some amazing kimono selections, but I have to say so far, my favorite is this new one that I'm going to, that I'm featuring today. And I'm going to show you different ways to style a kimono and not just to style a kimono, but also to wear a kimono because although it may seem oh maybe i can just wear it one way because it's got the openings for the arms you can actually wear this thing quite a few different ways okay so the other thing is i want you to know um it's not just my kimono that you can wear this way you can wear other kimonos this way too so if you have some already in your wardrobe that's awesome um I hope that you love this one too, because this one I actually custom designed and it's available inside the shop and I have a goodie for you. So stay till the end so you can grab that. Okay. Um, but this, what I love about this is that it's easy. It's, it's light. It's very airy, especially for those super hot months like we have here in South Florida. Um, and this is actually made in Canada. It's a mix of chiffon and polyester, and I, I absolutely love it. So this was a custom design that I created. And by the way, we are not only is this one in the shop, but we are going to start 
custom creating other designs that you would want. Okay, so that's another um, big piece of news that I wanted to share with you. All right, so how can you wear this other than the way that I'm wearing it right now? So obviously I'm wearing, um, and I'm gonna actually take it off in a second so you can see how long it is, but I'm wearing this just with a solid color top underneath. Um, I do have a pair of jeans on right now, but I don't know if you noticed in a picture that I posted um, earlier, I had white pants on. So you could wear a kimono like this with white pants, um, with honestly any, any color pants that would look really nice with it. Also jeans, but also shorts. Shorts are a great bottom to pair with kimonos. Um, I like to keep the top underneath solid and a little more neutral that way the eyes gravitate towards the kimono itself and i and i allow the kimono to be the leader of my outfit in addition to the jewelry okay um but having kimonos in your wardrobe make it so simple for you to literally grab a solid color top so have you grabbed my closet cleanup checklist yet because I share with you how to organize your closet so that it's organized in a way that you can simply grab a top, then grab a fashion layering piece like a kimono, and then you grab your bottoms, or maybe they're in your drawer, depending on what you're going to wear, and you're good to go, right? So these pieces just at they elevate your style. They make you feel more stylish, which in turn makes you feel more confident and fabulous in anything that you're doing. So not only can you wear it as a regular outfit like this, but you can also wear it with a bathing suit as a cover up. Okay. And I'm actually going to be sharing some um, images and a video later on that's going to show you all those different with different types of clothing. But for today, because I didn't want to change in front of the camera, um, I'm just going to show you what I'm wearing right now. Okay. So uh, okay, so let me take it off so you can see how long it is. Um, now, I will say that this one comes in different sizes. So this is a small, and you'll see the sizes on the inside of the shop, but how fun is that? All right, so that's just one of the ways to wear it is just stick your arms through there and you are good to go. Um, another way to wear this one is as a shawl okay so the way or kind of like a poncho so what you would do is stick your arm just through one of the arm holes like this and then the other side i would simply kind of drape over over me okay and then it serves as a shawl and it looks just like a shawl would really pretty and flowy um so that's one way or that's a second way the third way is wearing it as a scarf. So, and that's what I love about pieces like this is that with one piece, you can get so many different looks. So as a scarf, you simply would literally just kind of like drape this over your neck, right? And then you could do one, another layer over and another layer over, and you would just simply fix it so that it looks exactly how you want it now i will admit that here in south florida we don't wear many scarves so if you are from and actually you definitely want to fix this a little bit but i think you get the point so it's super versatile you can wear it in many different ways um but yeah we don't wear a lot of scarves here in south florida so for me i'm not so sure that i would personally wear it that way um now another way that i would wear it though is just draped over me like this so when i do have a scarf that i love and that it's you know airy and breathable i do like or not just a scarf but even a kimono i like draping it over my neck like this instead of wrapping it and so that just gives it another look so that would be my third way of wearing it and or actually my fourth. I'm going to count that as a fourth. Um, then the last way is you can also wear it over your bathing suit. OK, so like I said, and and that way you would just use it like this. 
Um, you may be able to get away with wrapping it. So let me see if I can wrap this one. This one I haven't tried wrapping. I don't know because of the arms, but if you are super creative, you can probably get away with it. So let's see if that'll work. What do you guys think? Any other suggestions? Yeah, I'm not sure so much that it would it would work as a wrap on the bottom end of on the bottom half of your body, but for sure as a cover up. So so cute. All right. Um, so what I wanted to share with you is that everybody that watches and says the word kimono. Okay, you are going to receive $10 off of anything in the shop. But if I were you, I would use it on this. So um, just say the word kimono down below and you're going to get a message from me via messenger with a discount code that will um, also send you the link to the shop. When you get the message, you're going to get a link directly to where you can find this kimono inside the shop. But you can also use that discount code on anything else in the shop, including these fun earrings, which are also in there from the Starfish Jewelry Project, um, as well as this fun bracelet for summer. So lots of fun stuff in there to really just elevate your summer wardrobe. Beach kimonos work really well as regular kimonos to wear uh, on a regular outfit as well. So that's always another option. Um, and I've got some of those. I just, I love the quality of this one and this one, I, especially because I personally designed it makes it even special for me. So, um, I hope you guys enjoy and stay tuned for, um, for a little video that I'm going to drop probably in a few days or so, just showing you some of those ways that you can wear it. So you get the full length picture. All right. Have a fabulous rest of the day. I will see you guys next week for next week's style session on Wednesday at 1230 p.m. Eastern time. All right. Bye, guys.